Close your eyes. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. It's called making a determination. And then you have to maintain the determination. The vows that we take as we enter the Rains Retreat, they count as determinations as well. And as the Buddha said, there are four aspects to determination. First one is using discernment, figuring out, okay, where do you need to improve your behavior? Where are your weak points? And what would be a good way of changing that to turn your weak point into a strong point? That's discernment, figuring these things out for yourself. In other words, when you make a vow, you want to make a good vow, one that's really useful, one that really does make a difference, and you really will benefit from. You also have to use your discernment and figure out what rules to make for yourself in terms of your vow, what rewards you give yourself if you follow through, and what punishments you give yourself if you don't, if you find that you need those things. And it's always good to have a few punishments in line, otherwise the mind starts to get a little loose. And once you've made up your mind this way, then the next step is truth. You actually stick with it. Whatever the terms are, that becomes a law inside your heart. Now, this means you're going to run up against a lot of other things, and those are the things you've got to learn how to let go. This is where generosity, renunciation, relinquishment. When you give up something, think of it as a gift you're giving to the world. Okay? You're not going to take that anymore. You're going to leave that for other people. If it's something good, and if it's something that you've been holding on to that's bad, you've been doing this bad, okay, it's a gift to the world not to follow through with that. Learn how to let go of what other things that you like, because a lot of your pleasures are going to run up against the vows you have to make. So you have to learn how to relinquish those pleasures. And then finally there's peace. Try to keep your mind on an even keel as you do this, not getting upset when, the, when you have to give up this or give up that. Learn how to keep yourself in a good mood and keep the mind still and calm all the way through. This is what allows a determination to last. If you're just gritting your teeth, gritting your teeth, okay, it's going to last as long as you can keep your teeth gritted. But then at the Rains Retreat, then you go back to the end of your old ways. At the end of the Rains Retreat, you go back to your old ways. But if you find you can maintain a sense of calm as you stick with your vow, then when the Rains Retreat is over, you don't see any need to abandon your vow. You can just stick with it. Because that's the purpose of these Rains Retreat vows, is to build up some momentum, develop new habits. And then once the habit is established by the end of the three months, then you don't see any need to drop it. Just stick with it all the way through. So as you make up your mind for the vows that you're going to take for the Rains Retreat, okay, to keep these four things in mind. You need to use your discernment. You need to be truthful. You need to learn how to relinquish, and you need to learn how to maintain your calm. That way your vows will be effective and they'll really last.